Hey guys, it's Shreds and this video is going to be a vlog style what I eat in a day. I am not vegetarian and I don't eat like this every single day, but my grandma is visiting my family from Chennai, India, and she is a vegetarian who's kind of uncomfortable with there being meat in the house and we completely respect that. This will be a vegetarian day in the life and it's also different because it's a Saturday and I definitely don't eat the same on weekends as I do on weekdays when I'm working, but let's just get into it. You already saw I started my day off with some green juice and I made enough for two servings, so I'll have some tomorrow as well. And this isn't something I make super often, but I do enjoy it when I make it. For breakfast, I had oatmeal, which is usually my winter breakfast, but for some reason I was kind of feeling something sweet this morning, so that's what I went with. It's been an hour now since I had breakfast and I'm so excited because I'm going to be trying a new coffee and I'm very much ready for some caffeine. Javi actually sent me some coffee and a few straws last week and I have been waiting to film this video to try it. I've actually never heard of microdose coffee concentrate before. Oh, that smells strong. I just feel like with how the instructions are, it's just gonna taste diluted, but we're about to find out. So one bottle of Javi is supposed to make 30 cups of coffee and a serving size is one to two teaspoons and has 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. I'm back, the coffee is done, and the hair is up so you know I'm in business. Here she is. I am pretty surprised with the color because there was only very little that was put into this, and I was like, this is just gonna look like milk. And I was very much wrong. Guys, I am pleasantly surprised, and I think I would put more coffee in here. There's something with the ratio where I'm like, it's super good, but it needs more of that coffee flavor. This is great for if you're traveling, if you live in a dorm, if you just want something super quick because this took, I don't know, 20 seconds. I think this would be so good to put in milkshakes and to bake with maybe a tiramisu or something. Thank you so much to Javi for sending me their coffee. If any of you wanna try it out, I will leave a link to their website down below and you can look into it more. My parents and I are about to go to the Isabella Gardner Stewart that's not her name. My parents and I are about to go to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum right now, and I'll take you guys along with me. I'm so excited to go. And there's actually a Netflix series about this museum because the world's biggest art heist took place here in 1990. So that's what really fascinated me. And they have such a beautiful garden, so I'm so excited to see that in person. <laughs> Museum, we headed to Matcha Cafe Maiko. I ended up getting the Maiko special and it had matcha chiffon cake, mochi balls, cornflakes, red beans, jellies, matcha vanilla twist ice cream, matcha on top, a random chestnut. There was a whole lot in there and it was so good. After that, my mom and I headed home to make kimchi. We ended up stopping at the Asian market to get the ingredients. I love going there. It is so nostalgic to me and of course I had to pick up some pantry staples and things that just reminded me of my childhood. 
So when we got home, we got right to business and it was a lot of chopping veggies. Once we had our paste mixed in with our veggies, we let it sit there for a while before we put them into jars and we moved straight on into lunch, which my grandma actually made. And she made one of my favorite things, which is chole. That pretty much translates into chickpea curry and it's such a great high protein meal, especially for someone who is on a vegetarian diet like my grandma is. There are so many ways to make chole. This is just one of the ways she does it, and it's probably my favorite way to have it. As a child, I loved eating my chole with rice and yogurt, which we just called pergonam in Telugu, and it's definitely still my favorite way to eat it, but we went with the healthier option today, which is eating it with chapati. Chapati is essentially the Indian version of a whole wheat tortilla and you can buy these ready-made in stores, but my grandma makes them from scratch. Here she is doing her thing, working her magic, and per usual, this meal turned out so great. Here's the finished product. All of the liquid was soaked up and she just topped it off with some garnish and it was 10 out of 10. Incredible. Hi guys, so it's actually the next day and I'm eating leftovers, but I never showed you this yesterday so I thought I'd show you how I eat this. And since I grew up in India, I guess it doesn't always resonate with me that not everyone eats with their hands like we do and they probably don't really know how to go about it. So here's how you actually eat chapati and chana. This is also how you'd eat something we call dosa with any of its side dishes and I truth be told eat it incorrectly i take my chapati i put my chole in the middle and i eat it kind of like a taco but what you would normally do is rip a piece of your chapati up and kind of scoop the chole up with it so you can call this either chole channa chickpea curry which i've never called it that before but you scoop it up like this and i just dropped a ton great demonstration we've got going on. We've got some scooped up. I love leftover chana because I think it really soaks all the flavor in from the sauce and I'm a fan. Truth be told, Indian food tastes a hundred times better when you eat with your hands, which is the right way to eat it and no one can tell me otherwise. For dinner, I made the simplest meal for when I'm feeling lazy and it was just egg fried rice with some of the kimchi we made on top. And kimchi is definitely better over time in my opinion, but I am impatient, so here we are. And I had it with some salted pickled radish, which is my current new obsession, and it was delicious. So that is everything I ate on this day. I definitely eat different when I'm visiting my family at home versus when I'm on my own, but I thought it would be fun to show you what I eat on a regular basis at home. It is a lot of Asian food, as you can tell, and I hope you enjoyed this video.